Despite all the chaos and crazy things happening in our world, we gotta admit, we have a pretty cool planet. The Earth is indeed amazing, and if we stop for a second and have a look at the things around us, we'll come to realize there are so many things out there to admire and enjoy. But a lot of these things, however, do not make any sense. They're so crazy that even science can't explain them. For that reason, I prepared this video for you in which we're going to be looking at 10 scientifically impossible places that actually do exist. You'll learn that nature is full of mysteries and surprises that we might not ever be able to fully understand. Make sure you stay with me all the way to number one for a place that sounds like something out of a fantasy horror tale. Because even sci-fi couldn't explain a place like this one. Either way, I guess these places will make us believe more in the magic of nature as there's not much research or work that we can do to explain them. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Three Colored Crater Lakes. First on our list, we have a very interesting phenomenon on the island of Flores in eastern Indonesia. This spot looks like something straight out of a movie, but it is a real place, and it's at the top of the Kelimutu volcano in the central part of the island. What makes Kelimutu so magical is its summit with three colored lakes. Each lake has a different color, and the colors may vary depending on the season. The first lake, which locals called the Lake of Old People, is the westernmost lake and is usually blue. The next one, which is called the Lake of Young Men and Maidens, is usually green, while the last one, which they call the Bewitched or Enchanted Lake, is usually red. What is so interesting about the whole situation is that the three lakes have different colors, but still, they're also at the top of the same volcano. Some people think it's due to minerals in the lake that come from volcano gas activity. Others believe the coloring has to do with oxidation reduction. While no one can fully explain why the lakes have these striking colors, one thing is for sure. I definitely want to get to the summit of this volcano. Number 9. Devil's Kettle The next impossible place in our list is located inside the Judge C. R. Magny State Park, a park in Minnesota, USA, on the north shore of Lake Superior. What makes this spot famous is what locals have labeled as the Devil's Kettle. At this point, you might be wondering what exactly is this Devil's Kettle and why is it called like that? Well, it's a very odd waterfall that splits into two as it passes through rock formations. Half of the waterfall goes down into the Bruley River and continues its course while the other half mysteriously disappears into a sort of pothole. The water falls for about three meters before it disappears. No one's been able to determine where that other half of the waterfall goes to. A lot of random objects, including ping pong balls, have been thrown down into the Devil's Kettle, and they never reappeared. For that reason, it's considered unsafe to explore, as no one really knows what would happen to anyone who dares to go down there. Number 8. Hestalen Lights By now you all probably heard about Northern Lights and all the magical experiences that comes with them. But what's so magical about something that you can easily explain with scientific facts? Ugh. Now, have you heard of the Hestalen Lights? These are more like magic, or at least mysterious, because no one can really explain why and how they form. The Hestalen Lights appear in the rural parts of central Norway, right above, of course, the Hestalen Valley. There you can spot these floating white, yellow, and red lights in the middle of the night. Sometimes they only last a few seconds, while other times they can be up for an hour. Sometimes they move really fast, and sometimes they move very slow, as if they were suspended in the middle of the sky. People have been paying attention to them since the 1930s, but no one has been able to fully explain what they are. A few experts believe these lights form as a result of iron dust getting ionized, but that still has yet to be proven. I guess we can let scientists discuss this while we go out and enjoy them. A trip to rural Norway sounds like a good idea if this is what I'll get to see. Number 7. Lake Karache. It's quite hard to think of a lake in the world where you could easily die just by standing near it. But in Russia, unfortunately, this is a reality. It all started back in the Cold War days when the Soviet Union was trying hard to catch up to the USA in terms of nuclear weapons. For that reason, they had a nuclear factory around Lake Karache in the southern Ural Mountains. These led to them to dump all their waste, including radioactive material, straight into the water. They did not measure the danger this entails, but in 1957, an accident caused one of the nuclear waste storage tanks to explode, thus sending radioactive particles in the air for as far as 23,000 square kilometers. Ten years later, a drought caused the lake to finally dry up and spread the remaining radioactive dust for over 2,300 square kilometers. The infamous lake has been covered by concrete, but it's not a place that you would like to visit. Just standing there for an hour can kill you as an example. Number 6. 
the boiling river. Moving on, so on the topic of bodies of water that can kill you, and now I give you the boiling river. That's right, if you were, or if you are, one of those kids who put their hands everywhere even when they told you not to, I'm sure your hands or at least your fingertips came close to touching the surface of boiling water. And what happened there? Well, I'm sure your skin couldn't take it, and you probably got some blisters. Probably some harsh words from your parents as well. Well, imagine what it would be like to step into a river full of boiling water. You can answer this question by paying a visit to the Chanay Timbishka River in the deep Amazons. The water here can get as hot as 91.1 degrees Celsius, which is almost as hot as the overall boiling point. In fact, any live being that goes into the river gets boiled, hence the name. Now, the craziest thing about this river is that usually water needs to be close to a volcano to get this hot, but there are no volcanoes in this part of the Amazon. In fact, the nearest one is at least 700 kilometers away. Some say there might be a fault line underneath that causes the water temperature to get this high, but such a theory hasn't been proven yet. I guess it'll be a nice thing to see, but I'm sure you wouldn't like to go for a swim in this spot. Number 5. Petrifying Well Some things in nature are so hard to explain that people easily credit their existence to magic, witchcraft, or even... The Devil. This is exactly what has happened in North Yorkshire, England, in a cave near Knaresborough that was believed to be under the curse of evil forces. Even the entrance of the cave is already creepy enough, as it slightly resembles the shape of a skull. But that's not all. The weirdest thing is that anything that touches the water of the cave turns to stone. There's been a lot of cases of items that were left near the cave and turned into stone in what seemed to be a very short period of time. While the high amount of minerals in the water explains why these items have turned to stone, scientists still can't figure out why it happened so quickly. This phenomenon should take a few hundred years to develop, but instead it takes only weeks or months at the most, depending on how big the item is. I wonder what would happen if a human were to live by these waters. Would they turn to stone? Eh, it'd be kinda creepy. Number 4. Underwater Park Summer and fall are perfect to go for a stroll in the park and enjoy the views around you, or just sit on a bench and have a good talk with a friend. Kids and adults alike can enjoy many outdoor activities at the park, and that's not the exception of this beautiful park in the town of Tragos. This is near the Hochschwab Mountains in northern Austria. However, winter time fills Tragos and its park with so much snow that by the time spring comes, so much snow melts down from the mountains that the whole park gets fully submerged in water. Instead of walking and having springtime picnics, visitors can expect to come in for a dive and explore the underwater park where benches, bridges, and trails stay almost untouched and even some flowers start to bloom as the new season begins. It is until the middle of the summer that the waters finally begin to recede and allow people to come back for walks and regular outdoor activities. It's a really strange phenomenon as the park remains alive and pretty much untouched even when it's overflown by the water from the snow. No wonder this is considered one of the most exotic places to dive in in Europe. Also, we had to have at least one good entry on this list that isn't deadly. Number 3. The Bermuda Triangle The next place I have on this list is a place we've seen in many previous videos, and we can't really leave it out from this list as it really is a spot where a lot of things happen and science can't fully explain why. I'm talking about the Bermuda Triangle, which is a geographical area between Miami, Puerto Rico, and the island of Bermuda. Just draw lines on the map to connect these places and you'll get a triangle, which explains why the area is called like that. More than 20 airplanes and 50 ships have disappeared within this area. The strange phenomenon has been observed since the 19th century when some people found some ships without any passengers inside. Some people believe the phenomenon is linked to supernatural causes, but some others believe that the environment and the triangle's positions are to blame. The Bermuda Triangle is in a section of the Atlantic where waves are so big that they could easily crash and wreck a ship without leaving any proof that it ever existed. Also, the triangle is often hit by big storms from all directions that would likely make it impossible for anyone to survive. Still, no one can really confirm why people and ships have disappeared in this area. I guess the best we can do is stay away from it. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Look at these amazing colors and the smoke coming out from that water. What could it be? Can science explain how this cool spot is formed? Is it safe to go to? Well, let's have a look, shall we? Number 2. Yellowstone Caldera If you love national parks in the USA, Yellowstone is the one you cannot miss. All the way in Wyoming, this unique park is a haven for nature lovers. 
One of the main attractions of the park is the Yellowstone Caldera, also known as the Yellowstone Supervolcano, which formed during the Lava Creek eruption around 630,000 years ago. Only the crust, which is the upper part of the caldera, can be about 35 kilometers long. Everything below that is more than 2,000 kilometers long, reaching all the way to the outer core of the Earth. Gases and molten rock from within the surface of the supervolcano, but nothing major has happened since the Lava Creek eruption. However, some people believe another super explosion could happen at any moment, creating a big disaster that could alter Yellowstone, its surroundings, and many places that are not far from it. If you have no idea what a super explosion looks like, just think about a recent volcano explosion that you witnessed. In that case, think of the materials that the volcano released. Now imagine those materials. Multiply it by 50. By 200. By 500. You can't. You've already been blacked out by all the lava. Or magma. Can't remember how that one goes, really. That's pretty scary though, isn't it? But scientists say that we shouldn't worry about any super explosion happening for the next few hundred years. However, something that scientists can't fully explain is how exactly this hotspot originated. Compared to other similar spots, the Yellowstone Caldera can not easily be traced to its origins. We know it happened during the last super explosion, but we don't know where it came from. A hotspot like this one can't just show up like that on the records. There are theories, of course, but no definite answers yet. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. The Lightning Storm That Never Ends And at the top of today's list, we have a place where lightning storms never end. In the western part of Venezuela, over the Catatumbo River, you can experience lightning storms all the way from 7 o'clock at night until the sun is about to rise again. That's a full night of lightning right there. That's horrifying, by the way. People have documented that during most years, it happens at least for 260 nights. That's more than half of the year. Back in 2010, the lightning stopped for six weeks and people thought the phenomenon was over for good. However, the storms came back and up until today, scientists still can't figure out why the storms seem endless. That's our video for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, click on one of the videos on the screen. With all that said and done, I'll see you next time. Later, everybody.